Hey guys, Noel here, and it is Tuesday, and while we've got a little bit of free time, I thought it would be fun to do a video game review for the video game section of the YouTube channel. While we've got Tyson uh, bobbing and weaving, I thought it would uh, be also fun to do another sport that starts with the letter B. Yesterday was Bobby Bonilla Day, so we're going to be talking about baseball. My favorite player... One Bobby Bonilla gets paid $1 million a year on July 1st until 2035 because he is that good of a baseball player. He is a multiple-time All-Star, 1997 World Series champion, RBI king, and Mets team captain in the mid-90s, and he had to put up with the ungrateful media and sports fans of New York City so the reward for his patience and uh, and awesomeness is a million dollars a year because the uh, Mets decided to buy out his contract and with interest that's going to take till 2035 to take care of and Bobby Bonilla he should be paid until 2099 because he is that cool so what are we going to review for the day after Bobby Bonilla Day? We are going to be reviewing uh, one of my all-time favorite baseball games, a baseball game that I bought not long after I got into baseball and was super into Bobby Bonilla in the New York Mets. And this should tell you how good of a Mets fan I am, because the Mets were not very good in 1993 and 94. Um, but nevertheless, we're going to be reviewing RBI Baseball 94 on the Sega Genesis. So I'm going to uh, hit the lights, grab my controller, and you can enjoy this game uh, playing a demo right here. Good short. Good short. RBI 94. Um, this uh, game is not sanctioned by Major League Baseball, but it is sanctioned by the pl sanctioned by the Players Association. So we have real players, but no teams. We do have city names, and the cities are coded in the team colors of each uh, team. So we're gonna play ball right here, and we are going to be the New York Mets. We do have all the regular divisions. We're gonna be National League East, New York Mets, and let's actually play in division here against uh, the Kings of the Hill, the Atlanta Braves. At this point in time, Ted Turner owned the Braves, and uh, they were amazing. We're gonna put Doc Gooden on the mound against Greg Maddox. And there we see the cleanup hitter is one Bobby Bonilla. So uh, this is going to work for us right here. And uh, unlike Colin Kaepernick, uh, we are not going to take a knee for this. We'll, uh, you know, have a single tear roll down our cheek. Uh, Tengen right here, you may know, is a the, uh, I don't want to say it's the dummy corporation of Atari, but it is... Uh, the name that Atari used to publish video games um, under uh, off console, um, and there was a whole bunch of legal sh uh, issues that had to go along with that. And you can watch some very cool uh, YouTube videos about that. Um, off the top of my head, honestly, I don't remember all the details of it, but it had to do with Nintendo and licensing, and Nintendo and Atari were suing each other, and now we've got Vince Coleman at bat here, we've got Greg Maddox, and the cool thing about this game here is the player pictures right there, and that is a foul ball. Um, we uh, have different types of batting stances, I'm going to drop a bunt down here. Uh, great graphics, good music, cool announcer, uh, a variety of batting stances, and very cool character animations uh, for the crowd on the side here. And like with any baseball game, you know, you will hit your D-pad to correspond with the bases. And we're going to actually hold up at second here. Uh, very nice um, big baseball fields that go along. Uh, there's uh, with each uh, uh, team, Eddie Murray. Oop, swing and a miss right there. Eddie Murray, a famous player for the Baltimore Orioles, uh, also on the New York Mets in the uh, 1993 team. Hold, tag, tag, tag. Don't go, you idiot. Uh, another cool thing that this game does is it marks the X where you are. There's Bobby Bo! 
Now, Bobby Bo is noted for his uh, big, sweeping uh, swing. And that would happen sometimes with that big sweeping swing. <laughs> He'd get massive airtime on it, but occasionally he would get uh, flown out, and that's going to be the end of that inning. Uh, so the Braves are now up at bat here, um, and we're going to have uh, the doctor on the mound. Uh, I'm going to put all these hitters in disarray because I'm Dr. K. That's not good at all. Uh... I've always had kind of a struggle with uh, fielding at uh, some baseball games here. And this one is no different, and quite honestly, uh, this is the first time I have played this game in uh, probably a couple years. I used to play this game quite a bit as a youngster, uh, and in fact, uh, I had no real intention of buying this game when I went to... Um, gosh darn it, man, that ball went like right over me. Um, when I went to go... Uh, by World Series Baseball or Frank Thomas Baseball. Those are my two options here. And uh, ended up uh, not having either of those at the store. I believe I was going to Walmart and I got RBI 94 and was pleasantly surprised with this purchase. The other, the other cool thing about this game is... Um, again, when cool things happen in the game, uh, on the side, hey, David Justice, it's DJ. He was my best friend's uh, favorite baseball player. Now, I don't remember if I'm going to automatically be positioned under this. Yep. So the game kind of auto-fields for you, so that's that's good. Because um, Terry Pendleton, awesome stuff. Nope. Gosh darn it. Down to nothing. Um, David Justice. David Justice was my uh, best friend's uh, favorite baseball player. He's a big Atlanta Braves fan. What the freak, man? I am in front of that ball. Why did I not knock that down? Uh, playing this game on an at game Sega Genesis, uh, don't because the music is so ridiculously out of whack. And if you play it on the high def version. Um, Played on the high def version, the lag on it makes the game unplayable. Everything is out of sync, your timing's all off, and here's Jeff Kent, who went on to win a World Series with the San Francisco Giants. And he gets a double right there. Uh, as we all know, Bobby Bonilla won the World Series with the 1997 Florida Marlins. That was a very cool team. Jim Leland, his old coach from the Pirates, was with them. I remember when they won the World Series, um... Darn it, foul ball. Uh, I remember when uh, he won the World Series, uh, Jim Leland jumped into Bobby Bonilla's arms like a baby. That is a good bump right there. That is going to advance the runner. We'll start chopping away at this uh, lead here. Um, so we're not obviously on Ryan Thomas. Ryan Thompson, I remember him. I used to watch Mets games constantly on Channel 6 WOR. Um, out of New York City, we'd get the feed, and they would show things like, they'd show the courtship of Eddie's father, and then after that, they'd show the uh, nightly Mets games, and uh, good stuff. Stop, stop, stop. No, that's good. Go, 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 go. Go home, go home, go home. He's going to get a second, okay? Good deal. Todd Hundley, he was the catcher before Mike Piazza, and Mike Piazza was uh, a fantastic catcher, and uh, Todd Hundley uh, was quite good before him. Not not Mike Piazza. Hundley was better for um, his defense, uh, but Piazza was much better in offense. Let's see what the doctor can do here, and not much as he gets a uh, almost an infield fly ball, and we have shaved the shaved the lead down to one run. Let's see how well Doc Gooden can do here. This almost sounds like X-Men music from the Sega Genesis X-Men. And now we've got pitcher versus pitcher here. And uh, quite frankly, it looks like uh, when, when Doc Gooden is pitching, he looks like uh, Michael Jackson. He looks like a white guy. So, got that vitiligo. There we go. Oh, crap. Oh, I thought I messed up that throw, but I didn't. One, two, three, down two, three. Let's do a three-inning game here. 
And we'll see if in this review uh, we can uh, win in three innings here. Not with a swing like that, though. So you can clearly see each player has their stats. Beautiful animations. That is a good looking hit. And right up the middle, that's going to be a double. Oh, let's hold it first. Hold it first. I don't remember Fernandez very well. Um, pitching, um, you can uh, speed up and slow down your pitches and uh, adjust the direction of the ball with the D-pad as you throw it. Um, so you do have, this is a very uh, accessible, fun game, and uh, out of all the baseball games I own, which is not a ton, um, this is the one I enjoy most. Uh, mainly because of the cool animations, cool music, character portraits, and uh, just smooth, fun gameplay. So uh, I highly, highly recommend RBI Baseball 94. Now the question is, can we get Bobby Bonilla to uh, score the winning run here? That is a good bunt. I might be able to get a single with that. Get it, get it, get it. Yes, safe. All right, Bobby Bo. Let's earn that $1 million until you're 70 years old. Go, 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 go. There you go. That's why they call him the RBI master. Go, 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 go. I'm going to do it. Run home, run home. That's the game-winning run, and Bobby Bo gets a triple. Oh, yeah. So we're going to finish out this inning, and uh, that's going to be the end of this review after this inning. Let's see what Jeff Kent can do. I wonder if Bobby Bonilla can uh, steal home. If you want to steal home, you can hit B and uh, your D-pad to make the runner steal. But we're going to not do that here. Nope. No, go, 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 go. Jeff Kent with an RBI, and he's going to try for a second, and he's not going to make it. Bernitz. I vaguely remember him. He bumps it. Playing like a Japanese player here. Well, guys, there we have it. That is uh, RBI Baseball 1994 for the Sega Genesis. Uh, in honor of Bobby Bonilla Day. So I highly recommend this game. There's lots of RBI games you can play, but RBI 94 is the one that holds a special place in my heart. So make sure you check that game out. And until next time, guys, my name is Noel. You take care and uh, play ball. It's summertime. Bye-bye.